go. Nope. Here we are. We're playing Candlekeep. I cast Magic Missile at the dark. You can't. You 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 can't. You can't. You didn't gather all the necessary components. I, when we were in town, I said I want all the components to Mordecai's faithful watchdog. <laughs> but you never actually cast it. So now there's ogre, okay? All right. So welcome to Candlekeep Mysteries Interstitial Part 2, because this week we're playing without a party member who's not feeling super great. So rather than move along in the book, we're going to have a little bit of fun building the world for an hour and just hanging out as the warblers. So Hello. you may recall last episode, oh, our party traveled... <laughs> what? Oh, well, Arwen was doing the hello thing, and I figured it out. <laughs> Every day we're warbling. Warble, baby, warble, baby, warble, baby, warble. All right, so we, uh, in our, our last episode, we spent some time traveling from the sleepy town of Marin that's not so sleepy as they're repopulating Vermillion where you emptied a mine that was full of mean locks and then you traveled your way back you spotted a griffin family off in the distance and made your way back to Baragost there you found uh, some armor if I recall correctly you opted not to sell your silver swords uh, and shield, and uh, and then attempted to play a gig, which you did uh, at Felda Posts. Uh, Felda Posts Inn. The um, the establishment had a very well aged clientele, like fine wine they were, uh, and your your evening ended. Um, uh, you went. You you took a long rest after um, having been greeted by a, a group of sisters uh, who told you at some point you should come by and visit their spa. So as the morning hey. dawns, yes. What? I'm just excited uh, for a spa day. As the morning dawns, uh, you wake up. Um, and the room is still dark, but it's loud. Uh, loud coming from downstairs. Lots of loud. Oh, I thought I was practicing. <laughs> Might be you too. No, I had a, uh, I, I had a burrito last night. That was me. I've been drumming along to the beat your belly's making. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure that's my belly. I'm really into I'm really into like natural rhythms, man. Oh, man. I think uh, I think I can see us doing some world hear... music stuff like Salisbury Hill or something. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, Ooh, that's a good whoa. song. Oh, I'm I you was def... thinking of the steak. Oh. <laughs> you definitely hear rumblings coming from. Uh, slightly uh, from from in the same room. Uh, it's not not a big inn, so in the same room, there's some rumbling occurring in the tumbling of Buddy's tummy, who is laying in bed. Uh, and you, you hear a slight. Uh, he had the burritos too. Well, I probably had a five with one bar. Man, I ate two of them. <laughs> I think those I'm burritos fine. had Olean in them. <laughs> and you recall that when Buddy took the money from the woman who tipped you last night, he also graciously took some of the sweeties from her purse. Oh, and now he's got anal leakage. <laughs> oh, those Werther's, man. They'll get you every time. Oh. Was it Werther's? I thought it might be Buttermints that it were held together by a slightly <laughs> damp <laughs> Kleenex. <laughs> I think those were not Buttermans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been a laxative. Ha I ha, I buddy. Kleenex was damp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't.
don't know what the implications going on here, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know either, man. I don't. I just call it like I see it. Either way, buddy's in the back of the wagon. In fact, if, what what is it? The electric mate? No, the. No what's, man. What's the name if, of the carriage? I don't know. I just know I painted it like the Electric Mayhem's bus. Oh, I thought the bus had a name. Yeah, yeah it was um. I don't remember. Awesome. It doesn't matter. It'll get named. Is it in the notes? I know Baby's pulling it. I don't know what the wagon's called. Unless it's the mystery machine. Yeah, I was going to call it the mystery machine, but I think... Speed buggy? <laughs> Speed buggy. <laughs> I have no idea what you named it. Okay. The Muppet Wiki refers to it as the Electric Mayhem Bus. Okay. So, no name. No name. Yeah, we can't use that one. Electric <laughs> Mayhem's already taken. Well, we don't have any electricity, really. Oh, not yet. We're like the acoustic mayhem. <laughs> so, where are we're at Greenest right now? You're in Greenest. You're okay. at Feldepost's Inn. Feldepost's Inn. Uh, yep, That's and it's, uh, as I mentioned, it's still in dark outside. Green, in Baragost. Yes, in Baragost. We did, we did not go yes. to Greenest. Oh, right. We're not in our Correct. hometown. That's right. That's right. No. That's right. Baragost. Okay. You're in Baragost. Sorry, there's yep. a giant arrow uh, pointing to Greenest, so I got confused. Yeah, okay. sorry. It's the it's the map I found, and I've not done anything to fix it. So. That's cool. That's so I'm a lazy it's the home DM. Of the, the, it points there because it's the home of the Warblers. Or, or at least you are home. Well, we are the Warblers, so yeah. As far as you know, you're the only three, right? <laughs> no, there's a whole lot more. But, but like that's where they're from. Their 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 Fair home enough. is wherever mom hangs her hat. Mama <laughs> was a Rolling Stone. Mom, mom hangs hang her hat. Rolling Stone. Quite a bit of different places. Yes. <laughs> mom did hang her hat in a lot of places. You never saw her in a hat. It's a euphemism. <laughs> never saw her in one of those either. That's because her hat was. She's never wearing her hat. She's always hanging at places. True. Do you guys think True. Bob's pregnant again? Most definitely. Yeah. What time is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's about that time, eh? Uh, okay. Uh, so we're at <laughs> this inn. Mm-hmm. Yep, and it's dark outside. It's morning, but it's dark. And you feel the weight of your eyelids as you are woken up by the sound of clattering silverware. From downstairs or where we're at, like in our room? From downstairs. Because I was going to say, in the kitchen oh, moving, I'm excited. Who stole the silverware in our room? Why do we even have silverware in our room? I don't as the a, only reason we ever have silverware in our room, Arwen, is because you stole it from the kitchen. I didn't steal any. I just steal people's personal effects, like personal letters. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if their silverware is very personal? Well, then I might just well steal it. Arwen only steals it if it's monogrammed. <laughs> monogrammed silverware. <laughs> Which is a thing, yeah, it's true. The strip has to be in bags, and the silverware has to have monograms. But, I, but it's all, Mom got it from all different people, so there's like all different things. So I like to spell words with it. Me too. Got her collection, and you just all hanging up, and you just move them around. On but, the it, wall. but but it's all things like boobs, <laughs> ass. <laughs> she um, gets one from each of the dads. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I love that. I can see it. Um, I can see it. Totally. Do we smell breakfast meats mm. cooking? You do. Oh. Lots of breakfast I'm, meats. I'm interested All in breakfast sorts of meats. Options. Let's go downstairs and get breakfast meats. You smell meats. not just one breakfast meat, but multiple breakfast meats. Is there It's almost bacon? as if you can smell the smells of a smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. A buffet. <gasps> a buffet? Breakfast. That's the best kind of breakfast. <laughs> That's Jimmy. It's like Steve's favorite band. <laughs> it is. 
<laughs> it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> I bet you. All right. Well, if this is paradise, uh, I would like to go get a breakfast buddy. sandwich in paradise. No, it does. It does. I hear, I hear the buffet it. lost its salt shaker, though. Yeah. Idiot. It doesn't have seven cents to go buy another one. No. No, because. This, this is completely off topic, Paul. But did you ever watch Club Dreads? Um... <laughs> no. The, I don't. It, it is that? indeed no. completely off. No, they just. They totally make spoof on um, Jimmy Buffett with Coconut Pete's. There, there's a guy who's Coconut Pete owns an island and is famous for these. Stupid songs, but anyways, never mind. <laughs> I might have to check it out. It's, it's All right. fun. All right. So I, I'm, I'm hungry f- for heading down. Yeah, I'm. I, I would like heading a breakfast, breakfast sandwich in paradise. I would. Oh. Joey, Joey's doing like nice. the toucan Sam thing with just floating with his nose leading. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, you make your way to the kitchen, or to the dining area, and it is packed. Before I go, I'm going to tell Buddy I'm going to bring him up a glass of warm milk. Oh, oh, oh. Better. It's only a little curdled. Better out than than in, Buddy. Better out than in. And I want to see if there's something, like a a greasy pork chop that I could bring along with that. We'll put it in the milk. (laughs) <laughs> now you're gonna have to mop up before you leave. Warm milk. Yeah, do, we'll make him do it. Warm milk and meat. He was un- <laughs> he was not expecting to be uh, expecting to be ambushed by his brothers, so he missed the chamber pot he, with that one. He should have expected it, and that's his own damn fault. <laughs> uh, we, I'm going downstairs to get some food. Man, it smells like mom's feet in here. Oh, gross! Do you ever wonder how mom has had so much luck having so many of our fathers be with her with that feet smell? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's that sounds right. <laughs> uh. As, as you walk down the stairs, the bartender looks over and waves, "Hey!" Oh, and he looks around. There's over there, and he points to three. Like everything is pub seating. Like is there's this, no single is, table is this with place chairs. Eating? People are eating? Like it's full? Mm-hmm. It's oh. Al Johnson's. Yeah, it's packed. Oh yeah. man, it's packed, and there are not a. Every single head in here is either bald or silver, and uh, oh my god, we're at a Bill Naps. To... <laughs> you're, you're directed to a back table that has three open seats on a bench. Wait, is this uh, a Denny's at 5 p.m. Of... on a Saturday? <laughs> 5 a.m. Yeah. No, 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 no the old people you had their breakfast the, the day crowd. before. All right. You played the dinner crowd last night before dark. Uh, and now oh. it's dark, so it's breakfast. All right. uh, and uh, Holy you shit. Um, you are the, the, the table that you see uh, is uh, looks like it can seat about six. You're taking up the last three seats on it, next to three little old ladies. And as you walk over, they introduce themselves as Cornelia, Geraldine, and Henrietta. Of course they do. Welcome to the table, boys. I'm Joey. Well, hey, Joey. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, too, ma'am. Hello. You want some butter mitts? I got some butter I mitts. Ju- no, oh, no. I'm not supposed to. <laughs> All right. Uh, do, you you got to go get a clean plate. Go get a clean plate. The buffet's over there. And then come back and you sit down. We already finished. So you can come back and we'll teach you how to how to play. And if you guys want to play, you can join us. We got a good game of ship captain and crew going on this morning. Oh, I thought that, that, that was... So far. I was, I, so yeah, far you, beat me. you beat me. 
I missed it. He said, is it like canasta? And I was like, oh, a canasta. Uh, you... mm -hmm. uh, all right. So far, Henrietta owes me some money. Hoping to keep that going. All right, I'm going to go make him rethink this buffet idea. <laughs> I'm gonna... As you walk over the buffet, there's just like a can <laughs> for gold, for pieces, like for money. Like the bartender doesn't even keep track. He just trusts everybody that walks in. I don't even. <laughs> One know. gold for all you can eat. Oh man, that's a lot of money for that. Joey, I'm gonna put an extra for, one in for, for you just out of fairness. Of, per, okay, per I'm gonna make him regret four. it. All right. Wait, per family of four is in small letters at the bottom. One, one gold. gold per family of four. Yeah, I'm going to drop two. Yeah, I could two never eat ones. a family of four in one sitting. <laughs> You're dropping two gold? Yeah. Dang. Dusty, right. Just so you know, I still have it... control over Arwen if you want to alter that. Well, it's more fun if you do. Okay. You can mess with I, it. I am absolutely going to... Uh load up a plate to the to, uh, to the degree that they will question the cost i i put in two gold <laughs> just when did buffets get so expensive man one gold for a family of four is two and a half good. silver for all i can eat man that's pretty good i remember when i could go to a buffet for three silver pence <laughs> Yeah, and that's from the, that's more from the than table what it nearest costs the buffet. You're, you're very hungry. All these people behind you. Steve starts laughing. Joey just mathed you. <laughs> just... <laughs> and I'm gonna start loading up a plate, and I'm gonna make sure I get a pork chop and some milk for uh for Buddy. If there's pork chops. All right. Oh, Buddy's not coming down, so I'm gonna use his plate too. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any no, are there are there pork chops? For sure. Okay, yeah. I want the one at the bottom that's sitting in all the the, the other like the braising juice. So oh, are you gonna take that fat? Cause I'll eat it. No, 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 no. It's for Buddy to help him feel better. <laughs> Mom always says oh, pork uh, fat keeps away the flu. This is a good way of how uh, Buddy's nickname becomes pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sean. <laughs> uh, all right so i'll just you know we'll load up we'll I'll, I'll put all that and then i'm going to be eating mostly vegetables uh and other things I'm because make up for him steve is steve is uh trying to to lose a little weight oh uh, he's he's a fighter and he feels like he's been eating unhealthy nice he's gonna mostly be juicing he's that juicing <laughs> He's juicing everything now. <laughs> With his juice owl bear. Nice. I'm gonna juice his pork chop. With his juice rakshasa. Ooh, that's it. We should make Buddy a pork smoothie. <laughs> yep. Yep, you should for sure do that. So yep. we, I, I, I want to play cards, though, so I'm going to head back as quickly as I can because I want to learn the game. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm all in for that. I mean, not all in, like all in, all in. Right, right. <laughs> uh, you head back over and uh, you see them playing this game. And while while they're playing, um, uh, Geraldine explains a little bit as she's playing. So they each have six cards in their hand. Uh, in our case, we're going to be using dice, and um they pick up six they pick up six from the deck and uh as they they set one down if there's a six and then they pick up five from the deck and they set one down if there's a five or more than a five and if there's uh and then they so they keep on pulling up as many cards as they have had in their um extra in their hand at the end of each turn and then uh they they look at each other and whoever has the most um, laid down points, like adding up all the points on the cards, then that person uh, wins the pot for that round. So, um, how do you so, decide who's ship and captain and crew? 
Well, if you if you only get the little bit, you gotta be on the crew. The, the ship is the like big one in charge, and the captain's like, well, all right, you got second place, and the crew's like, losers go swab the deck. I think Steve's gonna be ship. He's the biggest. I, I is, is this a version of asshole? <laughs> No, I, I don't, don't think so. Don't say that to these ladies. They're nice. Oh, sorry. Bong I believe hole. it's arsehole in this world. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really undelicate. You're a brown star. <laughs> I don't get it, so it must be okay. The brown-eyed winker. <laughs> I don't know what wow. about. I, would just, I would just like to observe and um, specifically I'm looking for tells with the ladies to see like if I can pick up on oh. tells that they might be getting. Steve's going to play. Nice. All right. I'm playing so, for uh, sure. Right. But, but I'm doing it nonchalantly so that I'm trying to hide that I'm observing. Okay. So first, give me an insight check. Second, give me a stealth check. I don't have control. It says my game is paused. Oh, yeah, that's good. You could still well, open your sheet, you but you won't be able to do anything either. Uh, you still still should be able to open your sheet yeah, and do stuff. Yeah, you should still be able to roll. Yeah, I just, I just roll, I attacked this woman with the longsword. You shouldn't okay. do that, Steve. <laughs> okay. Well, I did pretty All good. All right. You still haven't rolled a stealth check. Oh. Well, I don't think it matters with my perception. Uh... <laughs> well, I don't think perception was one of the things you were supposed no, to roll. No, perception for. wasn't one of the ones. <laughs> Insight and stealth. Insight and stealth, yeah. Man, that's, it was so close, I thought you were going to have a 20 there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so... You, um, insight. What, what? I, my computer is, you rolled fun. an ins. Did I roll an insight? Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. you did. It was For 47 uh, seconds ago. You rolled, yeah, yeah you rolled an insight. Steve rolled a a long sword in there. You rolled a 14 for your insight, you rolled a three per perception, and then you rolled a nine for your stealth. And the DM is so, stealthing the rolls. Oh. Yes. Stealth rolls. Uh, <clears throat> so. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, there we go. I was like, it doesn't show me my. Okay. So you, um, you're able to spot, uh, a tell on, um, two out of the three of the women. One of them clocks you doing it. And uh, is very... Clock me like throws a punch at me? No. Because I'm going to no, get off this old lady's grill. <laughs> Geraldine says, Now what? what you... Oh, I, I know they're pretty obvious, don't you think? I, I don't and... think that's my problem. <laughs> she... She... Um... She kind of gives you a wink, like, you just keep that to yourself, though, eh? And, uh, and continues oh, on. What? Nothing. Uh, so, you will have, on your rolls, you will have one additional die per roll. Well, I'm um, not playing, I'm just watching. When you play. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> if you play, then that will be gotcha. the case. All right, so for those playing, you are rolling 60, 66. No, ah, no, that's not what I want to do. Oh. 66. Cocked. Uh, so that one. Uh, so you'll need to click on... Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> so if you click on the number, mm -hmm. 
in your um yeah. in your roll, it'll show you all the dice. Yeah. Got a full house, baby. Uh so for each six you got, you would set it aside. So neither of you got any sixes. No. Uh and neither did the neither old did ladies. That old lady, that old lady got one. Oh man, this is gonna be hard to keep track of. I I'm better open a spreadsheet. That, I'm guessing that's Geraldine. Yep, that's Geraldine. She's she's, she's wily. Second. I can tell she's wily. <laughs> yeah, she is. Uh, Geraldine has CX. All right, and then uh, what's the third one? What's her name, guys? Ernestine. Cornelia. Cornelia. Oh. Cornelia. Oh, yeah. Henry. Henrietta, Henrietta, Geraldine, and Cornelia. Oh, okay. Yep. Jolene? And, ooh, Cornelia's got two sixes. So now... That bitch. Uh, yeah. So now, out of the six dice, you subtract any that were sixes and roll that quantity. So you each still roll six dice. And then uh, add up your total from that. Henrietta rolls the X. I got a 14 again. <laughs> but this time you're looking for fives. I'm looking for fives? Yep. I had three fives. All right. I will add you to my spreadsheet so that you don't have to keep track of your math. The 18 you got. And Ooh, she got one. Yeah, you ladies are amazing. <laughs> and oh, this one only gets four because she had two sixes. Steve start, starts choking because he didn't realize Ooh. that there was a bone in this chicken. <laughs> uh... Oh, I'll eat that. <laughs> Here you go, Joey. Uh, it's still Cornelia got fat is... and some of my phlegm on it. <laughs> oh, that's so man, good. That's not kosher. <laughs> no. It was only in there for like seven second rule, man. Steve's not Jewish. It's cool. <laughs> All right. So now you're on to fours. Uh, right. And you get. So, Paul, you I have one less die. I, oh, I have one less. Okay. I got two. Woot woot. Joey got two. You're a new man. Look at all those sixes. He didn't get a 14 that time. I got no fours. <laughs> no fours. Oh, she got one. I got a four. And she's, this one's got not much left here. She, she already did. She's only used up one. Okay. Four. Nothing. And Cornelia's only got one, two, three, four, five. Only got one die left. Yahtzee. Oh, not quite. All right, so Joey got some fours. Now we're down to threes. Yahtzee, yahtzee. You guys catching on? Threes are you, guys, you guys catching on to how this works now? But I, I get to roll five, right? Still? However many you still have left. Yeah, mm. so you... No, you would have... You had three fives, right? Yeah, so you told me to roll five, So, but I should have subtracted. Oh, sorry. I should have only rolled 3d6 yeah, last time. Yeah, three. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't making sense to me. Okay. Sorry, my bad. Um, what am I so trying to get? Threes? threes. Yep, I got threes. nothing. Nope, nothing here. <clears throat> oh, Did you guys have the Geraldine green bean casserole? It's one. really delicious here. <laughs> Not many people I serve did. green bean casserole for breakfast. I thought it was a bold choice. <laughs> All right, we got two two left, guys. 
I think you can pick it, right? Well, you know what? Actually, we don't even need to. So this one we call, uh, we just, we call it, we call it, a, like, you can't win anymore because Cornelia over here, she's a ringer this time around. She's, she's got, uh, she's got 27. 27. Guys, beat that. Yeah, I got it. And you, I, yeah. That's not beating it, honey. That's not beating it. You got, you got to get a little bit of better in your math. It's not like gold. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I was proud like of to, myself. Um, cast up uh, uh, communi my communication spell. Tell uh, hold on, un momento, por favor. Momento granted. My uh, message, which is a cantrip, and uh, tell Steve the uh, communication. You do have spell. to whisper for message. Yeah. Okay. okay. Speaking. Of, like I'm. Okay, what did you say? And I tell him the, the two tells that I know of the... Uh, oh, the... nice. Okay. So, if you want to play again... So, this was our learning round. We didn't put no money on it. You want to put some money on this, boys? <laughs> I love how your old women are a cross between Wisconsin bingo players and New York street hustlers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a little bit um, of... Uh... From uh, Drop Dead Gorgeous. <laughs> Smokes. <laughs> if I were a batting woman and there were a line on this in Vegas, I said it all comes down to Becky Lehman. <laughs> Sorry, uh, uh, holy smokes, what a contest. <laughs> Amber Atkins. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, Come on, smile, ladies. Let, it, get those, let them see those chompers. <laughs> Uh, uh, there's so many wrong lines. Anyway, um, so we're playing. We're starting over. We need to put. We need to ante in this time. Yeah, we got ante in at least six copper. Six I've, coppers are starting bid. If I've you want to get higher than that, we can do that. But uh, I don't want to put you out of out of house and home. We are going, all on a fixed income here. So. I <laughs> fixed income. I'm going to go into the party loot. Because I only have gold oh. on me, and I'm going to take one silver out for me and one for Joey. I'm or no, take the four no, wait, back. wait, one silver. I'll put one silver down, and that should cover Joey and I because it's five copper. So one. They said it was six. Six. So we're short. Oh, two. Six we're short. To get in. All right, I'll put two silver you need to in, change. and you can take you need the some four. Change. I can give you a change. Hold right. on. And she brings out this bag. Like, she gave you this big talk, but she brings out this... Huh, and it's all copper. <laughs> so she opens up. You know, like... Uh, Man, think we Laura gotta find dice. a wishing well, and we will go to town. I think Laura Bailey's dice bag. Like, that's what this bag looks like. And inside, she kind of lays it out a little bit, and it's just You know copper. how many wishes just... you got? <laughs> that's amazing. I have a song idea. If... A third of them came true. You'd still be like living high on the hog. Wishing well, the kiss yeah, but... and tell. <laughs> but if I put them in a wishing well, then I can't play ship cap and crew. You got a better name for it, by the way. You seem to be like a little judgy of my name earlier. No, I was just excited to be on the crew. I think you okay. should call it the poop shoot. I really like to be included. <laughs> I well, think honey, you, you should be, you call it Lestrada Chocolata. I'm gonna, uh, Joey will jump up and yell, you hear that? I'm the masthead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I like this kid. He's got good guts. I like him. All right, we're, right. we're anti in. All right, so we're all anti up. <laughs> Why did oh, I man, say on a dark lyric. desert highway? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think my computer's not plugged in. It's about uh -oh. to not be on. Joey's on Ugh. fire now. C66. There we go. Uh, I got nothing. I got two sixes. Don't you get the, uh, did you do the extra die? Oh, I got an, I get oh, an yeah, extra you die? Yeah, an extra die. Because oh. you know the tells. Okay. Nope. I got one. Leave these scores out here. One. 
Two for me. Seven. Two sixes? Yep. Wow. If Buddy were here, he'd ask you if you've heard of the Warbler Brothers. Because, of course, you have. The war... The war... Um, I feel like I've heard of them. Did they play a show here last night? Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, we, I think we did. I think we played uh, Tie a Yellow Ribbon and um, Meet Me in Burdusk and <laughs> Strangers on the yeah. South Coast. And Hey, Masthead, you're winning. <laughs> Let's do the fives round. I think we did hear you last night. I think my my, my my Hey, Lucille, you get these guys to do some coins last night. Is this That's fivers? Yes. Oh, and I yeah, get an extra fibers. one. Holy yep. crap, man. I got two oh, fives. I got two fives as well. Whoa. Two, three, four, five. What happened? Oh, I double clicked. That's interesting. <coughs> oh, man. I well, wish I got that been one. That's a good roll time. before. That's a but unfortunately, one. that ship has sailed. Oh, this one's funny. He's got the funny jokes. This guy's a good one. I like him. You, you boy. You lean over here. Lean over here. She reaches forward. I like you, and she pinches your cheek. <laughs> Be careful. You got a little beard in there. Oh, well, yeah, you got a lot of beard in there. It's not my fault. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I mean, that's what happens, man. If, if, All if, right. Can I delay the, my response to, to Arwen's message? I think she's got a little beard, too. <laughs> uh, anyway. All right, so how's your mental math there, Joey? You know you're winning, right? I'm doing great, man. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Way more All than right. an eight this time. We're on the fours. All right, I get we're five, though, because I still get an extra die, right? Yep. What? Oh, man, I didn't what? get any that time. Oh, it's a rough one. Did you get any there, there no. Steve? No. Oh. This game is dumb. <laughs> Not a dumb game, honey. Not Don't blame the game. Bla don't blame the game. Blame the roller. I don't hate the game. I hate the player. You got to keep them doggies rolling. Oh, remember, you did real well at the beginning, so you got a good shot here. We got a little bit. I'm, I'm thinking you might have a, might have this in the bag, honey. Don't, don't you give up so soon. Right, we're down to threes. All right. Come on, let's see how we're doing here. Henrietta's, Henrietta's no, still got, got five dice one. left. Oh, I got guys, three. You can't catch Good Joey. Job. You can't catch the masthead because it's always in the lead. <laughs> Except when the boat's backing up, Joey. Put up. I was really proud of that. It was really good. It was very good. Can I really liked boat, it, honey. Can your boat really, can a sailboat go backwards? Uh, the one person I, said, I know yeah. who can answer that just walked away on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, I need three, to roll three. five still. We're rolling so we got two one. twos, right? Threes. Threes. I got one. Uh, well, threes. you did. Did you do the threes already, Paul? I, already I thought did. you did threes. I did. Uh, mm. I thought yeah. we were rolling okay. again. Okay. You so two. you were moving on. Yeah. Sorry. All right. So here we here's the, here's the deal. Here we got one roll left. If I don't think anybody can take it from you, there, Joey. You you're doing so good this time. Because the masthead's in the lead. This masthead's amazing. Mast the boy right here. You. I like this guy. Oh, I got it. Good job there, Henrietta. You just keep on keeping on there, honey. All righty. Give me some twos. Give me some twos. Oh, come on. Ask rule for our dear Cornelia. Can you save the Cornelia? I don't know if you can. That was oh. a, that's some pretty good twos, though. 
Yeah, she almost caught up to ya. But nobody can catch you anymore, Joey. It's just you, honey, all out there by your lonesome, way ahead in the lead, cause you're the masthead. That's right, I'm gonna take all these coppers to the wishing well. You've got them all. All the coppers is yours, honey. She pushes them forward. Nice work. Nice work. Actually, there's two silver in there for when you guys took the change, but, you know. Oh, man. But it's good job. Do those count as ten job. wishes? Anybody know? Would uh, you want me to change them out for you? I can change them out for And she, she grabs them from you and switches them out and hands you your copper. So now you've got a lot of copper. Oh, you boys are real good at this. You know, um, I was, it, if you don't have enough copper, which it seems like you might be lacking in copper, if you need to earn some, I hear there's um, some uh, some big contest going on at Candle Keep pretty soon. They're having this big old battle of, battle, Is it what they call contest? it? What they call it there, Henrietta. Henrietta goes digging in her purse, hands, hands uh, Geraldine a pamphlet. She hasn't said a word this whole time. Oh, you got the whole pamphlet? Oh, because you, your boy, he's trying to do it, right? Right. Yep. Uh, Battle of the Bands. You've heard of one of those oh. things? Oh, no. Steve. Where? <laughs> it's it's a candle keep. It's just all right here on the brochure. There's a Battle of the Bands at Candle Keep. Hold on. Let me look. So, first prize. Let's see here. First prize is... Uh oh oh first prize is a lot well it's not copper I mean you might want it but I don't I don't know how you play ship captain and crew with it it's uh 500 GP worth a crushed diamond 500 GP worth diamond and a pearl oh I don't know if that's a drum set or not and then it's the second place 500 GP diamond and a pearl, and third place is a pearl. That's pretty good. Somebody had some yeah, pearls. Yeah, we to don't need away. three pearls. We only need the one. Well, you can only win once, my dear boy. Oh. But if you, oh, yeah, if that you, makes sense. But if you go in, you gotta remember you're up against Henrietta's boys. What? Well, there's, I mean, there's probably some other bands playing. It's a battle of the bands. And Where? if there's only so, like two, then one of those prizes is just extra. This, yeah. So I'm pretty sure there'll be more than three people playing, but you never know. I mean, they got you got to get in the battle of bands as entry fee, and you got to bring a book to get into Candle Keep too. So some of these music people, they don't care around the books Who a lot. Who are Henrietta's boys? Are they the good old oh, boys? Oh, Henry. No, no. Uh, they're into some like new kind of thing. Uh, what's it go by? Uh, they yeah. practice out by the they, Oak Ridge. They, they, uh, it's a, it's a duo. Wait, are um, they, are they near the alley? Are they the Backstreet Boys? No, uh, oh. no, it's just a duo. Uh, but they do like the speaking kind of songs, so they don't do a lot of like musical note parts. They just Man, do a I lot of like. That, are they? You gotta from, listen so careful. Are they from like the ninth yeah. level of hell? Are they the Gehenna boys? I don't I don't know. Definitely oh. not. No, uh it's uh fifty copper and ludicrists. Fifty copper and ludicrists. Nice. <laughs> um, Thank you. They must have played a lot of this game because I only got thirty. Oh yeah, they've been playing Henrietta for years. Fifty yeah. copper and ludicrous. And so Okay. <laughs> and they are they they like just they just talk in rhythm, right? Yeah, yeah. One of them like uh, one of them has sort of this drum thing he does with his voice occasionally. Uh huh. I don't know all their stuff. I haven't really listened to them much. They don't like to play here. I don't know why. Yeah. So, but uh, but I know they're doing it. So. I mean, you'd have at least them for competition. One of the things I can't stand is people singing without instrumentation. I think 
this what about about what, what you can do like vocal instrumentation, Steve? Uh-huh. Hold on. Let me tell you about a song I wrote. <laughs> right. No, it's it, no, for no. Oh, don't worry. Hey, That's, this is my favorite song. This is okay. But, because it's a novelty. But if you take somebody else's song and try to sing it without the instruments. Sometimes I, I like the ham bone. Mm. And sometimes I like hand bone. Well, I I do I do see you like a little pork chop. That's nice. No, well, that's for our brother. Or well, there's well, another I one of you. Three of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, there are. Oh, right, because there was four of you last night on the stage. The guy that was up front, right? The the singer. No. He's yeah, the... he's got the squirts. <laughs> Is Buddy oh. the singer? I thought Lucille, was the singer. you giving away your buttermints again. But Lucille, Buddy, stop Buddy with just the played butter pipes. <laughs> No, it was some lady named like Morgan or something. Oh. Some like I Lily lady. She's something about a Lily. Sorry, I was on um I'm on call, so I had to answer a, a phone about oh. a student who just showed up from Africa oh. wanting to check in. Yeah. Uh, like you do. That we have no record or knowledge of. Oh. Turns out wasn't actually Good. one of our students. So, you know. <laughs> Was he a Notre Dame student and he went to the wrong school? A uh, language company. Oh, okay, the language company. Oh, oh yeah. that makes sense. That makes, <laughs> makes total it sense. even harder. Yeah. Makes total sense. Okay. So, um, uh, catch him up. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask of. What did I miss? We well, learned there's the Battle of the Bands at Candlekeep. And God bless the rains down in Africa. Also that. And uh, I need twenty and, more silver, otherwise this fifty co- or the twenty more copper, otherwise this guy's gonna beat me. Right, we're gonna be up. We we are we have learned about a battle of the bands in Candlekeep, that we're up against Henrietta's kids, who are named fifty her copper. Her grandkids. Her grandkids, named fifty copper, and Ludafisk. Ludadrisk. Oh, Ludadrisk. Dressed like the. No, the but the I DS. think Ludafisk sounds pretty good too. <laughs> it's cod. Dressed as a dressed as a D and D character water. of long ago lore. Forgotten realms. Lord, Lud- yep. Ludadrisk. Ludadrisk. Yep. Ludadrisk and fifty copper are apparently going to be there. Um, and you know, these fine women have favored them to win, but we. Oh, I don't. I don't think they're gonna win, honey. We I didn't shall, say that. We shall. Rock We're just them. hoping they don't embarrass themselves. <laughs> Made me sound my damn tiara. There was some. What was the thing that you that I said, and you were like the person who. Oh, uh, they nicknamed Joey Masthead, and Joey, and we were trying to determine if you could fly a sailboat backwards. Well, sail it backwards. Sail a sail. And we thought Did you I might fly, fly it too. Yeah. I guess <laughs> we. I, I we were gonna ask you because you know. You're, you have a sister who who does it, not you know, and because of familial, you know, <laughs> relations, I'm sure you understand completely how a sailboat works. My ex father in law took me out on the sailboat a lot. Okay, can I, I go backwards? <laughs> he I probably could, no but not on purpose. I just talk about sailing, but isn't the masthead just the main mast? No, the masthead is the figurehead it's on the, the figurehead, front. isn't it? Yeah. So the question was, could he ever be going? Could he ever be at the back of the boat if the boat was not, going not backwards? Because I, no, cause I won the game, always... and I said that's because I'm the masthead. I'm always in front. But if it if the if it was possible to put a sailboat in reverse, it would be the front. Then... He'd be last in. <laughs> but well, I'd most, never be in, in the middle if, in unless we were sinking. <laughs> It's... What'd you say, Scott? Most modern sailboats have engines in them that can go in reverse. <laughs> so in fantasy times, then no. <laughs> Probably not. Can a sailboat go in reverse? <laughs> can a sailboat sail in reverse? Yeah. <laughs> because certainly you could paddle one backwards too, but... Oh, sure. If the wind is blowing against you and you don't have 
and you don't take down the sails, it will go backwards. Have you ever wondered if boats can move in reverse? And if so, how? Yes, I have wondered. Thank you for asking. The short answer is yes. <laughs> Moving in reverse is a maneuver often required in boating. <laughs> this article. A maneuver. It's a maneuver. But it's all like, it all looks like it, it requires an, uh, uh, it requires an engine. Hold on. This is extensive off off book gameplay. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's move on. <laughs> Just to determine whether or not I could lose if I'm the masthead. Yes, because like I need to know. Ellie <laughs> what, what, what? We're getting too much in the minutia. We're, we're going all Ellie Modisset. And we. I don't know. Finally, sand the grain of the wood, and then we. <laughs> Expertly take a number two gauge all to. <laughs> Come on, Paul, back me up on this. I've read it. It's uh, true. Uh, the only way to sail backwards is to push the sail out on the wrong side of the boat so the wind fills it on the wrong side, which will push you backwards. It is possible. Okay. But only by doing things that you're not supposed to do. To well, we're going to nail it then. <laughs> I'm glad we sorted this out. This was critical. Okay. Yeah, I want to dance. I'm ready for dancing. Let's is it dance. dancing time? It is dance time. Isn't that a Whitney Houston song? I want to dance with somebody. Oh, I don't care if there's anybody else dancing. Well, we need some music, I think, honey. You got any music I in I always you? have music in All right. The bass loot comes out. Oh. I'm going to lay. Where you I'm hiding gonna... that, boy? It's on my back. You don't and... want to know. It gets really greasy. There is this in the brown small... star, uh, and then I'm going... <laughs> then I'm going to start playing "Under Pressure" by Bowie on the bass and Queen. Nice. Queen mostly, Bowie secondly. Queen and Bowie. Doom 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 doom. Doom doom. All right, stop. Oh, I know this one. Nope. Collaborate and listen. <laughs> That's the one I know. I was back with a brand new edition. I'm Something back. grabs a hold of me tightly, flows like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up the stage, watch it jump like a candle. Dance. That's as far as I can go. And you know, <laughs> fortunately that was under a minute and also in that voice. So we won't be sued. <laughs> on the channel. <laughs> That's all I know. With our... <laughs> With our what? Is somebody watching? Yeah, we have we have five distinct viewers. Well, hey viewers. But one of them is playing in an Eberron game right now, so that's right. Really watching. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and another one is another TV viewer, which I happen to know is a bot. So <laughs> nice. Anyway, our our pot. No, what is this? What kind of cast is this? Twitch. This is a Our Twitch, Twitch cast. stream. all the bots to the yard. Our bot is better. Oh. <laughs> but do you want to get my sued? My Twitch cast brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, my bot's better than yours. Holy crap. You all right there? Yeah, my shoelace got wrapped up in the wheel of, the, of my chair, and now I am stuck <laughs> to it. Like, completely stuck to it. Man, now all you can do is sit there and drink wine. Except for I was getting up to get more wine. <laughs> Call Miles, he's the wine. No. Wine boy! <laughs> he's going to show up. Yeah, yeah I mean, tell him to come upstairs. Alright. So, we well, are... Are you guys going to be... Are you guys going to do this ba band thing? You think? I mean, you don't have to. I'm just thinking if you maybe if you go, Joey, you might, you might want to come and see a play, you know. I like a, I like a good drummer with a beard. Joey's got a groupie. 100% yeah. we're playing it. Oh, that's awesome. But there's an entry fee. Oh, what's the entry fee? Uh, let's see here. You have here. to pay one brother. Oh. <laughs> Well, Arwen. <laughs> well, he's not even here. He Act wandered away. Actually, we need the liar player. The bagpipes sometimes are a little much. 
Yeah, but he's our <laughs> chief marketing guy too. It's true. Like he, I'm supposed to be the money guy, but he really manages the band. Well, he's like marketing. He's the booking agent, though. That's true. That's different. He's Maurice Line. Would, would anyone like some fancy nuts? <laughs> oh, those nuts are fancy. <laughs> I've desalted my nuts, though. <laughs> that sounds well, horrible. You know I don't know if this is worth it, boys. It's 300 gold just to enter. 300 gold to That's get... Wait, to win... Wait, what's the lowest... Is a is a, like a pearl worth like maybe 100 gold? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Do we even? And then, but the, I mean, the winning prizes would be like fifteen. Uh, well, I mean, there's there's five hundred GP crushed, five hundred GP solid, and a pearl. So, so eleven hundred. You'd make a kick a kickback if you got it, but um, you'd be out a little bit if you got third place. If we took a kickback, we'd be kicked out of the musicians' guild. Uh do we even have 300 gold? I am I am looking right now. I have 30 copper. I just won. No, we do not. <laughs> we have All right. a... I know yeah, what I we need to do. Uh, we need to take this 30 copper and find a wishing well. A kissing tell. It's like 30 a monk, wishes, a monkey see, man. monkey do. Why don't we take that to the trap and bet on the dog that does his business the before he starts? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, it looks like the battle. I mean, you got a little time. You could get some odd jobs, maybe. It looks like you got like about three weeks till it gets you. Listen, only jobs we do are odd ones. Uh, I'm gonna start. Should oh, we start making deadline. To start funding our our musical uh, endeavors. Can we start a what? The A team. The, we could be soldiers of fortune on the run. That's basically what we are. <laughs> We're just <laughs> running around trying to make money to fund our musical career We're that cannot the fund itself. On the trot. <laughs> All right. I it think. This is a sign up deadline. Like you gotta sign up with Tiffany. Do you know what Tiffany? <laughs> you gotta. <sighs> You guys, sign up with Tiffany, and then uh, your balance is due. Arwen, uh, do you recall when I had breakfast with Tiffany? <laughs> I think you remember <laughs> that time I had breakfast with Tiffany. You said... <laughs> what about it? Yeah, and I said, I, <laughs> I said, I think I liked it. But she said, I mean, this is all that we got. And I, yeah, well, I'll always have breakfast with Tiffany. <laughs> Thank you. I think you both kind of liked it. <laughs> yeah. Do you Keep think hoping. Tiffany's alone now? No. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. If there are any children, they really should be aware. <laughs> and behave. <laughs> That's what they'll say when we're together. <laughs> That's what they'll call us. But we're running just as fast as we can. Uh, I can run faster. Uh, all right. So do we think we can make some money around Candlekeep? Or, like, would we know? Is Berghost, like, like Candlekeep's like monastic. Like it's, but if we it's, gotta sign up, we gotta go there first. We gotta like get our names in. But if we sign up, I think we have to pay the entry fee, and we don't have three hundred gold. Did you no, say no, we have to pay? Say... We have to sign up, and then we pay later. It says uh, a twenty gold deposited sign up, and balance due before you take the stage. So All it's right. like, yeah. All right, so we go to Candlekeep. We try to get a gig, uh, some way of making money while we're at Candlekeep, and then we get the money. To enter the Battle of the Bands. Maybe I could impress Tiffany. Or we like get a job that pays so much we don't even need the money. And then we enter anyway. That's true. Could happen. You never know. Um, breaking the fourth wall here, I'd just like to circle back to the whole A-team thing and thank Stevie. She do a whole B.A. Baracus thing about 
not riding horses. You ain't gonna get, bull. You ain't gonna get me on no horse. <laughs> <laughs> but I fought to get a cart for a long time. That'd be a total gear change. <laughs> oh. Not getting on no horse. I ain't getting on no plane, and I'm safe. Cause there aren't any. Sorry. Now, no. Stevie goes in, into a big depression. Just Aww. thinking about Tiffany. I, I thought she was the only one who knew me. And then, then her eyes, she saw through me. And I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I guess it's plain to see we're over. <laughs> Demon, I hate when things are over. <laughs> <laughs> so much left undone. Anyway, let's go. Let's go back. We want to look at her. Well, it's real nice meeting you boys. Hey, um, do you think that you would let us know if you're going to be in the Battle of Bands? We'll be in the Battle of Bands. You can put oh, all of your copper it? in it. Yeah, if Buddy Ooh. were here, he'd say, not only are we in it, but we're going to win it. Because we're in it to win it. I'm just excited to be included. <laughs> and it looks like your boys are going to have some competition. Maybe we should make... Okay, well, we'll make a we'll make a plan to see you boys there. And Joey, I want you to just come and say hi and tell me where you spent those copper. Oh, yeah, I'm going to throw them all in the well. Okay. Well, you tell me the word. The witching well. That's dirty yep. wishes, yep. man. Because <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> hey, I what do you be? guys think? Sorry. What do you guys think we could make like four different bands? Whoa. Four and we different could all. Bands. We could have four. We could enter four. We could win all three prizes. Well, we would need twelve hundred to do that, though. This is like three hundred four times. Uh huh. I don't understand. Oh man, I'm gonna take my hat and turn it on backwards. Oh, um, we're going over the top now. I said when I put my hat and I put it on backwards. <laughs> Damn it, Edge, you beat me to it. <laughs> going over the top. I'm ready. Let's go. We're gonna go get Buddy. We gotta get the candle. All right. Let's put him All in right. the back of the horse, but we better hang his butt out the back because he's going to squirt the whole way. Yeah, it'll just mix it. Every bounce of the road is going to be horrible. I forgot our horse's oh, name. Baby. 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 That's right. It's all right. Baby squirts enough for both of them. It'll she just cannot blend. go in the corner stall. <laughs> Baby cannot. <laughs> I just want to find... Is there a watermelon somewhere in Baragost? Maybe he'll carry it. Barry B's gonna carry the watermelon. Every time she's really good at it. Uh it is not quite fall, so Bear it, you'll have to wait because watermelons are not yet in season. Alright. Everybody pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wanna miss an opportunity for baby to carry a watermelon. <laughs> All right. All right, I try boys, to do that see? dance, but you every time you touch my armpit I giggle. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you boys in three weeks at the Battle of Bands. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, just to get you going, she pulls out a piece of copper and hands to each one of you. Now, try not to spend it all in one place, boys. I might be able to get a butter mint. <laughs> 31 don't, wishes. Don't take them from Lucille. Butter mints? Yeah, that's... That's who gave the tip last night. It was Lucille. I watched to talk up to your buddy and give him the sweets. Oh, oh I'm gonna, that's exactly where I'm going to buy and give him the buddy. <laughs> Just thinking of mall rats right now. <laughs> Would you like a chocolate covered peanut? <laughs> what, what's a Nubian princess? <laughs> I'm sorry, what's a Nubian? Uh, all right. That. Or was that. That was actually I'm in... in the... That's in Chasing Amy. Chasing Amy. Yeah. Uh, all right. The ladies excuse themselves. 
as breakfast hour has ended because the sun has risen and uh, I'm a little the bar disappointed clears. that I turned my microphone off because I just went to tell Leela she has to go to bed and she's in the shower singing really loudly. <laughs> is is it breakfast at Tiffany's? I couldn't rec- I did not recognize a tune. Oh. <laughs> they excuse themselves and you go up to collect Buddy, uh, and uh, and make your way to Candlekeep, which is where we will pick up. Can can you give me can, two weeks. can you roll a Constitution save for Buddy because we give him a pork chop and some more milk. <laughs> oh God. Well, the thing is, the milk was cold when we got it, so we had to let it sit out a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sat out basically the whole time. While we were table, while we yeah. were gaming with grandmas, I. <laughs> We, we left it by the fire where it got warm but never reached boiling. <laughs> yeah. But it's Buddy, pasteurized um... now. <laughs> when well, there's so almost fresh cheese. Oh, yay. Buddy does not puke at the smell of it. Uh, but he also has the wherewithal to de- decline politely. <laughs> I don't think he would have done that politely. <laughs> no, you're probably right. Sean would have told us to go to Alley of Bastards. To <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> and, all right, and then we'll get into our cart. And, and head uh, to Candlekeep. Head to Candlekeep. And that is where we'll pick up next time. Because it has been our hour of play, because all of us were moving a lot slow tonight. Well, Sean wasn't feeling well, and the uh, the two Krakow were running late. So, uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. We will be back here in two weeks. In the meantime, if you have April elections, there will be an April election. Go vote. Do your duty. That's what I got to say, because I've got a platform. So I used it. And all three viewers have heard you. Go vote. Ooh, tell that bot to... I was going to say, another bot. TV viewer will vote? Uh, Sony <laughs> Playstations is... I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering about... like. <laughs> Don't know who that is. Yeah, but it's interesting mm-hmm. because the name of our channel, <laughs> our Discord, so... Uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, so, all right, I will take a soft stream. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us for our little interstitial game Bye. of Ship, Cap, and Crew. <laughs> <laughs>